All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, Steve Molsberg show. How, how could tomorrow, we're just talking, how could tomorrow be Friday? These weeks just go by so quickly. Uh, glad I'm not getting old. 877 Newsmax, 877-639-7629. That's the number. We're taking your calls. We're live. And uh, let's go to uh, the phones. Phyllis is in Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, Phyllis. Hi, Steve. It's so good to talk to you. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. I've been trying mine. to get through to you forever. You must, you must have a lot of fans. <laughs> well, I have an air conditioner. I don't know how many fans I have, but no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm sorry about it. That's a bad one. Thank, hey, you, for, thank you for trying, and thank, I'm glad you got through. Oh, uh, listen, well, we're so um, glad to watch one program that doesn't try to bash Trump every time they open their mouth. <laughs> uh, we, we saw the clubs he made on the uh, Planned Parenthood issue and all of that, but uh, as you said, those those reporters and this media is so against him, he has to have his guard up at all times. He needs to be a step ahead of them because they're going to use every word that comes out of his mouth against him, and so will his opponents. Absolutely. And, uh, that's yeah. the one thing. So we are so, we, it doesn't bother us at all. He's not perfect, but you know what? His heart's in the right place, and that's what matters to us. We went to see him when he was here in uh, Nashville, and we were just totally shocked because we did not know what to expect. The man speaks from his heart, and he is so sincerely concerned, as I am, for his grandchildren. Yeah, and Phyllis, here's the thing. He's done, he's done so much good for so many people. And you know what? A man who has a, a public record and has been in the public eye for 30 years, okay, and, and has yeah. dealt with, with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, uh, you know, where, where's everybody coming forward telling you what a louse he is? They're, just, they're, they're really not there. I know some people are suing for this and suing for that. But, I mean, I, I, he's a good, decent person. He is. He's not a politician, and he's not going to give you the polished answers. And that's what people, no. some people like about him. I like it about him. Uh, my husband uh, and I were Democrats all of our lives. And uh, officially, my husband was in the state legislature here in Tennessee for 26 years. As a Democrat, and you changed so because we both of Trump. The Democrat, you changed because well, of Trump. No, we left before we we left because the Democratic Party went so far oh, okay. left. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I got you. And my husband was not far left. Right, so, Phyllis, um, I want I want to I want to thank you. A pleasure to hear from you. I I've been to your lovely uh, city a long time ago for a, a, a baseball winter meeting, and uh, I thank you. Please call again. All right, let's go now to uh, Wheatfield, Indiana, and say hello to Pat. Hello, Pat. Hi there, Steve. I just love your show, and I had to call because I had to rant and rave about I'm so disgusted with that interview last night with that stupid Chris Matthews. If, it's a good thing I wasn't in the audience. I would have had to throw horse turds or something at him. The way he worded some of those questions, there's no right answer. Well, it's it like was rapid. I, again, I don't feel sorry for Trump. He doesn't have to go on these shows, and he should know what he's going to get. And if he doesn't, then he's got bad. He's getting bad advice, or he's making bad judgment calls. But the way that I, I would have expected Trump, the way that uh, that that uh, Chris Matthews was treating him like he was on a witness stand, you know, well, I would have expected. Worse, I swear, it, I'm. I, it, I was waiting for him to grab him by his short hairs and twist him. <laughs> I mean, he was ridiculous. I yeah. mean, I, I just, I've never. Uh, like you said, Trump should have known better, especially with Chris Matthews. But, I've but, never, I don't think I've yeah. ever heard that Matthews, well, for, first of all, I don't watch that Matthews very much. Right, right. He turns my stomach, you know. And But look, Donald, Donald is going to have to, oh. Pat, Donald is going to have to get a little better at it. He's going to have to get more polish. If he doesn't know something, he's got to say, look, I don't know. I mean, but, but the question, the way it was put to him, if it's against the law, and the woman has the abortion. Should, does someone get punished? And then, then, then Matthews realized he had him on a gotcha, and he said, "The woman." And he said, "Yeah, the woman." Uh, that's common sense. He didn't know the pro-life movement doesn't want to do that, and 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 recommends against that. Uh, but it's hardly it's hardly an attack on women. I mean, my mm -hmm. goodness. Hey, Pat. Thank you so much, and please spread the word about the show, and please call again. I appreciate it. Cliff, next time, and everyone else trying to get in, we'll do it again tomorrow. Uh, Malzberg's Media Madness is next. Lots of crazy stories. Don't go away.